When you think about ancient times, you never really imagine real people or real lives. I've been surprised how dynamic women are and how powerful they are. Obviously, they have to cloak it with all sorts of subtleties. This meeting is invisible. Be assured, Cato. I do not see you. Women appear very little in the history books because men wrote the history books, but um, women were incredibly powerful in ancient Rome, partly because the men were always away. Gaius Julius Caesar finds his chair in an empty. His illegal war is over. The women may not have recognizable roles in, in politics, but they had an awful lot of influence. In the late Republic, it, it was only women who really had the freedom to maneuver and change things. And a, a great deal of the backroom politics that took place was done by women. One of the things that's most important to get your head around is that this time is a time of incredible turbulence and change in Roman history, the late Republic. And so all sorts of attitudes which have prevailed for hundreds of years are being turned on their head. And this particular time, by the sort of reality that's represented by a character like Atia. Look at my wife. We're living in the Subura, in a pretty nasty insula, which is, in actual fact, jumping with fleas. We have no slaves, not like the others. We make our own clothes. Brunus' character with his wife now will be, starts very badly. Maybe. You're alive. He's been away for years, and all he knows is um, how to be a soldier and give orders and um, have people do exactly what he says. And suddenly, he's thrown into a, a house full of women. No more soldiering for me. And how the hell do you react to that man when he comes back after eight years? You don't know him. You don't know each other. He hasn't been around women. He doesn't know how to behave around children. And so she has to sort of set him right a bit. He makes her happy. Well, she's an idiot, then. What a brute you are! He's got a big learning curve with women. I mean, I think the received knowledge is that the women were subservient to men and uh, did what they were asked. But it's a really tricky relationship. It's all very dramatic. Complicated family life. The past is gone. We start again. The women um, in public are subservient and abasant to their men. But at the end of the day, women have power. They are wives, mistresses, mothers, sisters. And you shouldn't underestimate the amount of influence that, that they have. My poor rabbit! It was accepted that women were powerful. And behind every great man, they say, there's an even greater woman. And I think that's the same with my character. I think she should have been the emperor, basically. You know, but unfortunately, she was born a woman. What a congrue of heroes. Such vim. I feel like Helen of Troy.